Def Heaven are a San Francisco-based band who have a very unique take on black metal. Combining it with elements of post-metal and shoegaze, the band have crafted a truly unique sound, which has gained them a lot of critical acclaim even outside of the usual metal publications, with the likes of indie music critics Pitchfork giving them a 9 out of 10 on their latest album, New Bermuda. The band have also gained a reputation for being a great live band, and have now announced their second Australian tour, which will see them play the Sydney Opera House for the Vivid Live program on Thursday the 2nd of June, Corner Hotel here in Melbourne on Friday the 3rd of June, Crowbar in Brisbane on Saturday the 4th, before wrapping it up at the Rosemount Hotel in Perth on Monday the 6th of June. For this interview, I'm joined by the band's guitarist Shiv Mara. Shiv, how are you doing? We're doing great. So what are you and the band looking forward to most about coming back to Australia? Uh, we... We all love Australia. The weather, the people—it's all, it's all great. Yeah, it, it it actually reminds me a lot of being back home. So I I can't wait to just hit the beaches and you know just see some koalas and kangaroos as usual. You guys get to play the Sydney Opera House on this tour. Um, from my memory, not many metal bands get to play there. How did this opportunity come about? Yeah, uh, I'm. I, not sure exactly how the opportunity came about. Our booking agent presented the offer to us, and we're just really excited to play because, as you said, not a lot of metal bands play, and so we feel really, uh, really privileged to be able to play such an iconic place. You've, you've received a lot of positive accolades from outside the metal press slash media. Um, most notably, Pitchfork gave you a 9 out of 10 for New Bermuda. How does this make the band feel about taking something as extreme as black metal and getting it recognition from people who normally wouldn't review or rate or even like this music? Uh, I mean, that's... Uh, it, it's great to have, like, people connect with something that, that maybe they weren't exposed to before, you know? So it's it's a great thing that metal is being brought back to the forefront, I think. Um it's also amazing that websites like Pitchfork are supporting that and bringing it to people who normally wouldn't listen to that. You know, I think it, our crowds have definitely changed over the, the period of uh, our career because of that. And it's nice to see, like, just, you know, normal kids who don't seem like total metalheads and elitists who are just there because they're really, like, connected with the music. And with any type of music, I feel like, if you have a connection... It, it shouldn't be limited to just a certain type of person who wants to listen to it. You know, everyone should be allowed to access that, and it's it's nice. And I feel like the writers probably, like, enjoy writing about something that they're not, like, you know, it's, it's not force-fed on them. If they really appreciated the music, and they probably enjoy writing it. With all of these great reviews, of course, uh, you mentioned elitists in there that just come and needlessly bash on you for no reason. Uh, during this bashing, have any of the uh, like older school, more traditional black metal artists stood up for you, or have you made friends with any of the more traditional Norwegian sort of bands? Um, I mean, we, I can't say that we've made good friends or anything, but we've never gotten bashed directly by any old-school black metal artists. I don't think that they're really... If they're offended, they haven't really, like, publicly said anything. And, you know, like, we when we met Abbott, we just had a beer, and it was a chill. It doesn't seem like anyone's truly, like, offended by any anyone else's success. Uh, I think the more... The online... The bashing is more of an online thing where it's just elitists have their own perspective on things. We haven't personally gotten bashed by any old-school artists. Not yet, at least. In regards to how you guys write songs, do you just focus on writing a structured song, or are your songs more focused on atmosphere, or is it just experimentation? Well, the songwriting process is, you know, for Sunday there was practically, Carrie just wrote all the riffs, and it was when him and George were living in an apartment, and he just played on an acoustic guitar and wrote all the riffs. But over the period of touring over Sunday, there with our lineup, we're all really good friends, and we're really connected, and we played every day. So uh, the new Bermuda lineup really just—we're just really connected, and we're writing riffs over tour. And once we had to get down to actually putting an album together, there was just more of a communal effort in there. Uh, Carrie came up with a lot of riffs. I came up with a lot of riffs, and we just blended them together. And so, yeah, it's just—it's just, it's just kind of what we feel and what we really like in tune 
together. So there's no, per, like, we don't perceive that we want to do this one thing. It's just how we write riffs and we put them together, and it just happens to come together that way. What's one piece of advice, real critical advice for young and aspiring bands that you, you'd have for a young, aspiring bands? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, just, you know, that's tough. Yeah. Everything about music is tough. So just be, if you're looking to play music, just be ready to work really hard. Uh, and possibly, you know, most people don't really, they try really hard for a long time and don't get very lucky. So just expect the worst, but just keep trying. And, and, and if you really like try hard enough, I think anything will ever work out. You know? The future of the band, do you see yourselves as... Uh, one of metal's next biggest bands slash festival headliners, or do you do you see yourselves just remaining more of an underground band and experimenting and pushing the bounds of black metal? Um, yeah, well, like a, we don't necessarily tie ourselves so strongly with black metal as much as just writing different styles of music that we really appreciate. So yeah, we're definitely looking to experiment the bounds of songwriting with every type of sound that we that we love, you know. So there's definitely room for experimentation in the future, too, because there's so many different styles of music and different vibes we can play. So we don't know where we're going so far, but hopefully we'll experiment a lot more as well. Thank you for your time today, Shiva. Much appreciate it and look forward to seeing oh, you yeah, and the band come yeah. down to Australia. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Shiv from Death Heaven. You're listening to The Mosh Pit on Finn.